Hello friend, welcome into practice. If you've got a couple of blocks and a strap, that would be really helpful for practice today. Uh, or you could just have a couple of books nearby um, and a scarf or a belt will work just as well as a strap. Once you've gathered what you need, please find yourself in a comfortable and easeful seat. So you might choose to be sitting cross-legged like I am, but kneeling or having your legs extended, even sitting in a chair, are all um, appropriate variations. So choose the one that feels best for you. Take your time to settle in here, please. You might roll your shoulders out. Maybe join me for a couple of cleansing breaths. <sighs> Lower your gaze or close your eyes. <sighs> mm. Just take your time to collect yourself here, to allow all of the many layers of you to just catch up, to gather, to arrive, breath by breath. And start to deepen your breath here, please. Inhaling and exhaling through your nose if that's available. Start to explore your lungs, the capacity of your lungs here, without forcing, never straining. I'm just really curious, how does it feel to breathe deeply? Where can you bring the breath? Can you find sensation of breath through the front line of your lungs? the back line of your lungs and side body tapping into a three-dimensional quality of breath here I like to imagine my lungs like a brightly colored balloon yellow is coming to me right now you can imagine whatever color you love and as you inhale, imagine that balloon expanding in all directions, filling up, filling up, filling up. And as you exhale, softly the breath leaves your body. Your body draws in on itself, just like a deflating balloon. A few more cycles here. Sitting bones are rooted. Spine is uplifted, shoulders relax back and down, neck really long, soft, jaws relaxed, forehead is smooth. One more breath here, deep inhale, complete exhale. Bring your hands to heart center if you wish, plugging thumbs into sternum. Lift your sternum to meet your thumbs, sit tall. Taking a moment to set an intention for your practice today if you wish. So what is it that you need right now in this moment? What is it that drew you to your mat to connect with your body and your mind and your spirit and your emotional life? What do you need from this time that you've carved out for yourself today? Plant that seed. And watch it grow. And start to rub your palms together briskly. Create some heat. And bring that warmth over your eyes. Please cup your closed eyes. 
Deep breath in. And let it go. One more time. I stay soft or closed. Rub your palms together. Create some heat there, some energy. Infuse your hands with healing light energy. And then bring your hands to somewhere on your body that feels like it needs some warmth, some healing today, wherever that is for you. <sighs> Blink your eyes open as you're ready. Lift your gaze. Again, welcome in. Give your legs a little bit of a wiggle, a little bit of a shake. Been sitting for a bit here. We're going to come into cross-legged if that works for you. So coming into cross-legged with your right ankle in front to begin. Again, if cross-legged doesn't work for you, please find something that does. You could always have one um, leg extended as an option here um, or come to kneeling. You may wish to sit up on some form of support. That's cool too. Bring your hands onto your knees. Lower your gaze or close your eyes and start to circle your body here. So circling your waist, your ribs, your shoulders, your head, around your lower body. And feel free to make these circles as exaggerated as you wish and see if you can find a connection here between your movement and your breath. So for me, it makes sense to inhale as I come forward and exhale as I move back, but just see what feels natural for you. And change direction. And slow that down, please. Coming back through center. I'm going to take this into a forward fold. You can walk your fingertips forward. You might stay right here. Or you might bring your forearms down onto the mat. Or you might reach your arms even further forward and rest your forehead down. Okay, it really doesn't matter which variation you're in. Just find a place that you can connect with some interesting uh, sensation and hang out there and breathe into what you're feeling. See if you can keep your sitting bones rooting back. So there might be a tendency um, to rock the weight forward and lift your bum. See if you can really keep sitting bones rooted here and rather lengthen your spine, reach your heart forward and let your head fall forward if that feels okay for your neck today. Give your neck a little stretch here. Last couple breaths. Walk your hands back up. Bring your legs out. Again, give them a little bit of movement here. You might circle your ankles. Bounce your legs a little bit. We're going to come back into the cross-legged position now with left ankle in front. And we'll take those circles again here. So whichever direction you start in, that's fine. And you can keep these circles really small, really sort of contained or you can exaggerate them as much as feels appropriate and interesting for you. Find your breath here. Try the other direction. Slow that down, coming back through center. We'll take the forward fold again. So just working into the opposite hip now. Might be different this side, take your time. Walk your hands forward, maybe bring your forearms down. Maybe reach all the way for, forward to rest your forehead on the mat. Just see what's here. Same steady, full, lovely supportive breath. If that balloon image works for you, you can imagine that 
expanding and contracting balloon here as you breathe in and breathe out. Last couple of breaths, you might let your head hang forward. Walk your hands all the way up, please. Extend your legs. Plant your feet wider than your hips. Let your knees rock side to side a few times. And then next time your knees fall towards the right, let them stay there. Sit up over your hips. You could draw your heels in a little closer if that helps you to find the stability over your pelvis. We'll take a twist here, twisting towards the right. So right arm comes out behind you. Left arm reaches across to grab right thigh. Take an inhale, sit up nice and tall. And then exhale, begin to twist towards the right. If it serves your neck, if it feels okay, you could look out over your right shoulder. Or you might just be looking straight ahead or even back towards the front of your mat. Use your inhales to sit up nice and tall. You can press your hand into the, the mat to really lift your heart even more and use your exhales to twist. Wait for your next inhale and let that bring you all the way back around. Plant your feet and then we'll take the other side. So knees come down to the left. Again, see if you can find shoulders and hips stacked right over your um, pelvis here, your sitting bones. You might need to draw your heels in a little bit to find that. Bring your left arm out beside you. Reach your right arm across left thigh. Take an inhale, sit up tall, press into backhand to really lift your heart. And then exhale, twisting to your left, maybe looking out over the left shoulder. Two more deep breaths here. Find your way onto hands and knees, please. Tuck your toes under, hips stacked right over knees, shoulders stacked over wrists. And on an inhale breath, lift your sitting bones, drop your belly, draw your shoulders down your back, lift your heart broad and your collarbones. Exhale, curl your tailbone under, press into your mat to really spread across upper back and shoulders, chin to chest. Again, inhale, find a cow belly breath, and exhale to cat. Two more like that. You want to stretch your eyes when you come into cow belly breath. Really look up, look up, look up. Stretching the eyes, and exhale cat. My child's pose, please untuck your toes. Walk your legs together for this variation. Hips towards heels, arms slide forward, forehead rests down. Okay, forehead rests on something. If it doesn't reach your mat, you could stack your fists or bring a prop there like a block or a book. Really reach your sitting bones back towards your heels as you lengthen side body front of spine, back of spine, forward. Finding a side stretch, walk your hands over to the left, please. Keep your right hip really tacked down as you reach out through your left side body. back through center and slowly over to the other side. Mm -hmm. 
walk yourself back through center. Come up to hands and knees. Downward facing dog. Walk your hands a little bit further forward. Tuck your toes under. Step your feet and legs to hip distance apart. Lift your sitting bones up and back. Take your dog for a walk to begin here. So pedal out your feet several times. Left, right, left, right. You can do this fast or slow, whatever feels good in your body. I like to grab the outer edges of my mat as if I'm going to pick it up off the floor and then really stretch my inner arm lines long. Lift and widen your sitting bones. Wrap your shoulders down away from your ears. And let your heels settle. Maybe lift your toes here. Lower your knees. Walk your feet together. Sit back on your heels. So all 10 toes tucked under. We'll find eagle arms from here today. Right arm under left to begin. Then twist tie your forearms and wrists to bring palms together. Or you could just wrap yourself up in a nice big hug. Or you could bring your uh, forearms and palms to touch and squeeze the, the arms and hands together. So lots of options there. Choose the one that feels um, most appropriate for you today. Find your breath here. Soft jaw. If you have the eagle arm wrap, you might lift your elbows a little bit more and then draw your forearms away from your face and then let your elbows drop down. Maybe let your head hang forward. Two more breaths, stay with it. And wrap your arms, you can give your arms a little shake out. Untuck your toes and now sit back on your heels. So if this doesn't work for your knees, you could sit up on some support um, or just skip it. But we're finding a stretch now for the ankles and the tops of the feet. So great place to stay right here. Or you might lean back in your hands and lift your knees to find more stretch up along the feet. And some of you might reach forward for your knees and find a little balance there. <sighs> Lots of breath, two more. Release your knees if you're holding them. Okay, lower the knees. Find hands and knees once again. Tuck your toes. Yes, it's awesome. We have another side of toe cracker to do. I know you're all excited. So tuck all 10 toes under, sit back on your heels. We'll find eagle arm second side or whichever variation you're doing. This time left arm over right. Finding a twist tie or the palms and arms together or a nice big bear hug. I just notice the, the qualities that are here. You know, when we move into or towards intensity, what comes up? What's here? What sorts of sensations might you be experiencing? What sorts of reactions to those sensations might you be experiencing? And it's not to, to add a criticism or a judgment to the experience. It's simply to experience the experience as it's arising, I'm giving it some space, whatever's here. Two more breaths. <sighs> Last one. <sighs> Unravel your arms, give them a little shake out, come forward, untuck your toes, oh, the best part, tap your toes out. 
and find downward facing dog once again, please. Step your uh, left foot forward beside your left thumb. So you can either step the foot forward or you can come down to hands and knees and step your foot forward. Make sure that the knee is stacked over the ankle. And we'll just stay low here for the first few breaths. If you need um, some height here, if so if the floor feels too far away to reach down to, this is where you could pop your blocks or your books underneath your hands to find a little bit more height there. Back toes tucked or untucked, that's up to you. Just finding some opening in your hips here. It's really gentle. No straining. And we'll find a little bit of movement here. So it's a really nice, simple flow for hips and hamstrings. As you next exhale, shift your hips back. And then inhale, come back into the lunge. Again, exhale, shift your hips back, lengthen that front leg, maybe draw toes skyward. And then inhale to lunge. A few more times like that. My back knee's feeling a little bit sensitive, so if that's the case for you, you could fold back, uh, fold your mat over or place some cushion under that back knee. Just offering some lubrication here to your hips, even to that front knee. And a little wake up for the hamstrings muscles. And come on back into the lunge. And step back, downward facing dog. Give your head a little shake out. And step your right foot forward. And lower the back knee down, possibly onto some support, or you can fold your mat over, maybe prop up under your hands. We'll hang out here just for the first few breaths, just feeling into your hips, what's here, right knee stacked over, right ankle. And let the weight of your hips sink forward here. And finding that really gentle, easy flow as you next exhale, shift your hips back, lengthen front leg. And inhale back to the lunge. Next time you're in the lunge, stay and make your way back to downward facing dog, please. You may like to walk your dog out. You might find that you really want to be in child's pose right now and that's very welcome. Otherwise, we'll take three breaths here, either in down dog or child's pose. Find a standing forward fold, please. So walk your feet towards your hands, feet about hip distance apart, soft bend through the knees, and let your arms dangle, possibly catching opposite upper arms or elbows. Let your head go. Notice where the weight is in your feet. See if you can find a balanced footbed. So equal weight rooting down through the center of each heel. Big toe mound, baby toe mound. And 
Release your hands. Inhale, find a halfway lift. Really broaden your chest. Reach the crown of your head forward. Lift your sitting bones up. So really lift and widen your sitting bones. Stay for an extra breath here. As you exhale, fold. Launch your hands. Step your feet back. Downward facing dog. Inhale forward to plank pose. As you exhale, lower your knees and then lower all the way down. Elbows bend straight back. Let's find Sphinx pose here. So bring your forearms onto the mat. Elbows are about underneath shoulders here. Lift your sternum, draw your outer shoulders back. Really lift your navel, your belly button up away from the floor and forward. Soft jaw. And release. Find child's pose, please. This time a wide-legged variation. Big toes come to touch, knees wide. Elbows soft. Forehead releases down. your time to round all the way up and transition to a seated position. Bring your right leg um, in, fold your right leg in, extend your left leg out. And reach your right arm up overhead and start to slide your left hand down your left leg. We're coming into a side stretch here. You can always adjust the top arm, so if this doesn't feel um, comfortable or appropriate for the shoulder, you could just bring fingertips to the shoulder, or you could simply bring that hand down to your hip or tuck it behind your low back. And look wherever feels most appropriate for your neck. Now reach your right arm up. Plant your right hand beside your right hip. I'm going to press into the right hand and come to stand on the hand, the shin, the foot. And find a nice big stretch for left side body here. And come all the way back down. We'll switch legs. And start to slide right arm down, right leg, reach left arm up and over, or find any modification here that suits your shoulders today. Keep that bottom leg, the lengthened leg, really engaged. So I'm flexing my foot here. I'm really driving out through the heel and drawing my toes back towards my shin bone. Keep both hips grounded. There might be a tendency here for the left hip to lift up. Keep it rooting down and reach up and out. Float your left hand all the way down, outside left hip. Press into left hand, come to stand on that hand, left shin, and open up right side body. Big stretch, deep inhale. And exhale to come all the way down onto your bum. Bring your legs out in front now, finding butterfly soles of your feet together, knees wide. And walk yourself right up close towards your heels, holding your ankles or your toes, and give your knees a little bounce. Notice your breath, keep breathing. And then walk 
walk your bum a little further back so there's more space between your heels and your groins. Take an inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, hinging from your hips to fold forward. Keep reaching your heart forward. Keep pressing your feet together. If it's okay in your body, particularly as long as you're not feeling any discomfort through low back, you could round for the last few breaths here. Keep pressing your feet actively towards each other. Round all the way up, please. Bring your hands up behind you. You can either have your fingers facing forward or back. It just depends what feels best in your shoulders. Step your feet in. So heels are a little ahead of your knees. And in a moment when we come up into table, your knees will be stacked over your heels. Now press into feet, press into hands, scoop your pelvis slightly forward, and lift up. Draw your shoulders, outer shoulders back, lift your hips, lift your heart. Look forward towards your belly button. This is the safest place for your neck, okay? Unless you know it's totally okay for you, you could look back, but better option just to be safe is to look down towards the midline of your body or even up towards the sky. Press vigorously down into your hands and your feet. Squeeze your legs together like you've got a, a ball there between your knees. Take one more breath. Inhale. And slowly lower down. Exhale. Extend both legs forward, please. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. So grabbing either feet, toes, shins, Hands on the floor, doesn't matter. Really working here with your breath, inhale. Reach your heart forward, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Two more nice big breaths here. That lovely, expansive balloon breath. You can feel that wave of breath moving through you here. Inhale, come all the way back up. Exhale, hands come down. Step your feet onto the mat, knees bent. Take some of those windshield wiper motions here, please. And find a comfortable seat. So your choice again, cross-legged, kneeling. Roll your shoulders out a couple of times. Both directions. Reach your arms out straight to the side, palms face down, really reach your fingers out, reach through your fingers. And turn your palms up towards the sky. So you've now externally rotated the arms, the upper arm bones. Keep that, but turn your palms back down towards the earth. And now flex your hands. So draw your fingers up towards the sky and press out through the heels of your hands. Ooh, <laughs> this is such a strong stretch for me. It's different in everybody's body, but this is such a big one for me. So just see how you go. Take a few more breaths here. See what you can soften. slowly 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 release your arms all the way down just pause for a moment
And rest your hands in your lap or on your thighs. Draw your chin down towards your chest. And gently roll your chin from one shoulder to the other. And you can keep this movement really small and slow. Maybe you exaggerate it a little bit more. Find the speed, the tempo that works for you and feels really nourishing. Maybe there's one spot that feels particularly sticky or tight and you want to hang out there for an extra breath or two, go for it. Last couple of breaths here. Lift your head up through center. Take an inhale. Exhale, look over your right shoulder. Inhale through center. Exhale, look left. Inhale through center. One more time to the right. Exhale. Inhale. Last time to the left. Exhale. Inhale through center. And let that go. Find your strap, please, or your belt or your scarf, whatever you're using. Hold the strap out in front of you and have your hands wider than your shoulders. Make sure you've got room behind you so you can bring your arms out behind you. Relax your shoulders. Sit nice and tall. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, start to take the strap back behind you. Keep your arms straight and strong here. There might be a tendency for the elbows to bend or one elbow to bend. Inhale, come all the way back up and exhale forward. So this is called shoulder flossing. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, ooh, back behind you. Keep pulling that strap apart. Inhale, up. Exhale, forward. If this feels really hard, slide your hands further apart. If it feels like it's pretty easy or it's getting easier, you can walk your hands a little closer together. Inhale, reach up, keep the elbows straight. Exhale, slide the hands back behind you. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lower. Let's do one more. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, all the way back. Inhale. Up and overhead, exhale, release your arms, release the strap. Woo! Roll your shoulders out. Scrunch your face up really, really, really tight. Take an inhale. Mind breath, exhale. Again, inhale. Scrunch your face, scrunch your face, scrunch your face. Exhale. <sighs> Couple more. Inhale. Scrunch. Make the ugliest, ugliest face. Scrunch, 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 scrunch. Mm. Exhale, lines breath. <sighs> One more time. Last chance. Scrunch, 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 scrunch. Deep breath in. <sighs> okay, come on down to lie on your back body, please. Stretch your arms and your legs up towards the sky. Give your arms and, a leg, and legs a shake out here. If there's anything left that you didn't get out with those lion's breaths, go for it here. You might do another lion's breath or two or three. Uh, oh. <sighs> your way into Shavasana. <sighs> 
Feel yourself settle here against the earth. Feel the support of the earth rising up to meet your body so that you can really let go. Bones are heavy. Muscles are heavy and soft. Skin is soft and wide, spreading. It's okay to relax. You're supported here. It's taking these next several moments in your Shavasana as your integration time, processing time for your body, for your mind, for your spirit. Really let your practice sink in here. As you sink into the earth, Let go. Let go. Let go. to deepen your breath.
Feel for some life in your fingers and your toes. Gently roll your head left, right, left, right. Slide your feet to the mat and carefully roll onto one side. And pause here on side body. You can use your bottom arm as a pillow. And curl your knees in. And take a moment to reflect on your intention. And how can you carry this intention with you into the rest of your day? What sort of thoughts and words and actions does this intention require? See if you can connect to an embodied feeling of that intention, whatever it is. And as you press yourself up to seated, take that feeling with you. Keep your eyes really soft as you find your way to a supported seat. You might roll your shoulders out as you arrive. <sighs> breathe in. Breathe out. We'll take a few rounds of Nadi Shodhana or um, alternate nostril breathing here. If you're feeling congested today, that's fine. Just sit and um, enjoy your breath. You might even visualize the breathing technique as I talk through it. If your nose is feeling clear, you will bring the peace fingers of your right hand to your third eye, or you can tuck them into the palm of the hand. You'll use your right thumb to block your right nostril and your right ring finger to block your left nostril. Start with a deep breath in. Breathe out. Block your right nostril, inhale left. Block left, exhale right. Inhale right. Block right, exhale left. Inhale left. Block left, exhale right. Inhale right. Block right, exhale left. Inhale left. Block left, exhale right. Inhale right. Block right, exhale left. Continue on your own. If your right arm grows tired, you can always support it with your left hand. And just make sure you're still sitting tall, sitting bones rooted, spine uplifted, chin level.
And then with an exhale out your left nostril, whenever that is for you. And release your hands. Inhale. Exhale. Just find your own natural rhythm of breath here. Bring your hands to heart center on Jelly Mudra. Offer a gentle bow as we close. And giving thanks to yourself for showing up, for carving out some time to tend to your body and your mind and your spirit. And thank your body for showing up and playing along, practicing, moving you through. So amazing. Offering thanks to all of our teachers including the teacher within. May we always, always listen to their voice. And as always, we offer the merits of this practice out to the benefit of all beings. May all beings be well. May all beings be at peace. May all beings awaken to their true nature. Blinking your eyes open with your gaze. Thank you. Namaste.